Hey y'all, Jesse Peterson here with Let's Make Art. I'm a mixed media artist and I love art journaling. And today I have a fun project for you. This time capsule. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Keenan. You're welcome. He's our camera guy, hype man, all the things. Yeah, I'm here <laughs> in the background. Thanks. So <laughs> for this video, we're doing the lawn yap. And if, this, if you're new around here, um, I'll explain lawn yap. Lawn yap is a bonus something extra. That's what it means in South Louisiana where I spent some time and um, I kind of named this video series that because I wanted it to be an opportunity where we could just do whatever. Um, so we normally we work in a theme and we do all these um, uh, projects around that theme and this month's theme that we've been working in is record and reflect. And so we're just kind of processing this whole year with all these um, projects that we're working on and we're using some fun supplies to do it. and. Um, it's a lot of fun. I really like the community aspect of journaling in this way that we've been doing. And so it's a lot of fun to see what everybody else makes and <clears throat> come together on this kind of bonus thing and do something a little different. Come together. <laughs> nice. I wish I could just break out in the song like that. <laughs> I love that you could do that. You're so confident. Um, <clears throat> I just am worried about what I'm gonna sound like, so I just don't even go there. But if I wasn't worried about that, maybe, maybe it could be. I could make a joyful noise one day. Okay, so we are using these Vicky Booten powder pigments that um, came in the subscription box if you're a subscriber. You can use whatever paint if you don't have that. You can still achieve some of these things. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna use this fun stencil to get that background. We're going to use a paper towel to wipe away some of the pigment. I've been calling this the takeaway um, technique. We're gonna use, well, I'll explain exactly what we're using for this project. We're gonna use this, these colors for this. We're gonna do this red up here. It is cherry tart. We're going to use this blueberry pie to mix the red to get kind of a nice purple. We're gonna use orange slice on this part, the uh, coral mac macaroon on right, right there. And we'll use the blueberry pie again right there. And that's all the colors we're going to use. Uh, we'll use the Yes Paste in order to glue our um, time capsule envelope on there. I like to use this big tub right here, so I'm going to keep that handy. I am going to use um, a brush. You can use your round eight or your oval mop brush or whatever brush you got around. It's not, a, it's not really a big deal. We're just going to put a wash on the back of that, um, on, the, on that layer page first. I like to use a palette knife to um, spread my just paste around and you will need an exacto or a pair of scissors to cut out this from the template and a ruler if you want to try to do it straight it's not like crucial though so if you have all the supplies gathered and ready then we can start making our project um let's see so this is the template that we're going to use and this is um, available on our website to download so that, that's super easy for you to do. And you can use this template as it is and cut it out and make the pocket, or you can cut it out and trace it to save your template. That's up to you. I'll show you how to do that first. That's what we're gonna do first. Nice. Okay, so I'm just going to use my ruler and cut along these lines first. I'm just cutting around that whole square first and then I'll go in and cut those little notches that you can see. The um, solid lines are cut lines and the dotted lines are fold lines. And our template um, explains that on, on there. It's so weird that it's the end of this year. I can't even believe it. It is weird because this year seemed really long. <laughs> And now it's like, whoa, it's For December. so many reasons, yeah. <laughs> okay, and then we can just go in and cut these lines. You could use a ruler, but I'm just gonna do this because it's gonna be fine. So I just cut a little notch out there. And I cut to meet that other cut. Cut to meet the other cut, you know what I'm saying? Cut to meet the other cut. Yeah. Yep, got it. Okay. Overlap the slices. Yeah, you just like I want to make sure that the triangle comes out by hit by running into the first cut line that I did on the second cut. 
So I just cut this one that way and I'm bringing my blade right to where I cut it and cutting it down so that it just pops out. <coughs> Makes sense? It okay, so sense. at this juncture, you can trace the shape. I'll grab a pencil. Sorry, I forgot to lay that out. You can trace it with whatever you got. And then you'll have your template to ten, blah, blah, blah. I gotta slow down. You'll have your template to use again if you want to do that. Now on our other projects that we do together, I usually provide a prompt and a technique, and that is so that you can mix those, match those things sometimes. In the lawn yap, I like to show you a different technique, or sometimes we even ask, um, we answer questions. But I just wanted to spend this time today making this project with you. So <clears throat> we'll have our Q&A time in our Facebook group. Oh, nice. Okay, so then you can have this and you can cut it that way, or you can use this and just make your pocket. It's whatever you want to do. I'm going to keep this over there. I'll use that for my template and I'm going to use this to make our pocket so it's clear for everybody what we're doing here. Cool? Cool. Okay. <clears throat> so your fold lines are, are here and then I just labeled these tabs so you know what to do. So you can fold flap A in like this right to <clears throat> that line right there. So it's like nice and even. Then you can fold flap D over to that. Like that. This is just an easy, easy pocket. No stress. And then you can fold C up like that. And this is where I would glue this one to that one, this one to that one, and then fold this over to be my top flap. But we're gonna decorate this pocket, so we're not gonna glue yet. I just wanted you to see how that's all gonna. So to be clear, you would glue D to A and then C to D after you're done decorating. Yeah. Got so it. we're gonna fold flap A in, yep. and then flap D, and then fold C in and glue, and then fold flap B and leave it open to add things. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> and that's all right here on your directions if you need to do that again or rewind or whatever. <laughs> Re rewind, that's a, it's a good opportunity with videos like that. You, don't, you won't miss anything, you can just go back. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over so we can decorate it. Yes. Because that's fun. Decorate. Okay, so, well, I'm gonna get this all ready <laughs> and we're gonna start doing our paint stuff. So then while that's drying, we can come back and work on this guy. That makes sense, that's a good use of our time. Okay, so let's get our journal. And I was saying we were working in the record and reflect theme, so we made this cool page this month. And if you haven't seen these videos, you can go back and find those. This one was the year in numbers, which I was really excited how it turned out. <clears throat> and this one is the downside and the upside of I the like downside. That it was a lot of fun to make that one. So I'm just, I think I want my time capsule back here. I'm just gonna fold my paper down and get it nice and flat, use my Clips. <clears throat> I still got a scratchy throat, <clears throat> so sorry for all the extra <laughs> sounds today. <laughs> really sorry. Okay. All right. Get our supplies ready. Okay. So I'm going to get my pigment on my palette, and I'm going to start out with the red first. And Keenan, you can tell me if I need to move my palette over or whatever. I was actually gonna ask you if you could bring it to the left. I would love to do that. Thank you. If I do that. Okay. So. That's good. I'm just gonna tap a little bit of that pigment out. We don't need a lot. That feels right. Well, maybe mm -hmm. a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe that much. Nice uh, pile of paprika. <laughs> it does look like paprika. Like a bright red paprika. You know what's good with hmm. paprika? Hmm. Deviled eggs. Yes, that is a true story. I like deviled eggs. I made some deviled eggs for Thanksgiving. <laughs> they were delicious. I didn't have any for Thanksgiving. Now I'm like, I need those in my life. Oh. What, what, have, what am I doing with myself? I don't know. Weird. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get my brush wet. <clears throat> I'm going to add some water to this pigment. Maybe a little more water. There we go. 
and I'm going to start out doing my background. I'm trying to get this pigment to be more mixy, mixed. Mix that, there we go, that's feeling good. You just wanna get it to a consistency where it's like the pigment isn't floating in the water, but it's like one with the water. <laughs> Creamy? I don't know. And if you're worried about your, <laughs> um, I'm gonna grab this other page and you can just put something under there. Just happen to have another template over here, so I'm gonna use that, but okay. So let's get our red in there. And I'm gonna work quickly so I can do some blending. Oh yeah, this is good, this is good red, I like it. A, pa a piece of paper is much quieter than wax paper. Yeah, was it crinkly when I used to use the wax paper? I just happen I was to just have thinking, this. Well, I was just thinking of my own oh. art times where I use wax paper, like you suggested previously. Mm -hmm. Now I really like the idea of paper. Well, the wax paper is better in one respect because it won't soak up the paint. So you could get really get it wet and it won't like seep through like paper well. But for mm. this, where it's just like a little paint, we're probably okay to get away with Well, that this. makes sense too. Now I'm not sure what to do. You can do whatever you want. What Our journaling is about whatever. What about a laminated piece of paper that you can clean? Uh, that could be cool. I like, I like where you're going with this. You could even make it a custom laminated piece of paper with art <clears> that you've made before. I gotta be quick because I want this to blend and I didn't have quite enough red. Whoa, that was a lot of red. Perfect. It's okay, I'm not mad about it, it's fine, we're good. See what I did there? Yeah, nice. <laughs> I quoted Sarah. Classic Sarah quote. She's quotable, it's cool. Sarah's our watercolor artist, if you're new here. We have several artists in the Let's Make Art family and she's just a really good example of letting you know it's all good, we're just having fun. Okay. We're just here to learn. Okay, now I wanna blend back some red in there for fun. And now we're gonna cover this up with half of this thing up with our pocket, so we're not, we're not stressing about this. It's gonna be fine. But I just want a little bit more red in there. And you don't wanna get the paper so wet that you like overwork it, um, or it starts like, I don't know, peeling up or whatever, but just have fun. Just gonna add a little more to that some texture. <clears throat> yeah, it's cool. Okay, looks like a hot mess, which means we're doing awesome. I like it. Nice. Another thing you can do while it's wet, I'm gonna try this, is what? just tap in the tiniest bit of pigment when it, where it's wet and it will stay. Let's see if I can do this. I'll show you an example in a minute of how this works, but it's kind of cool. See how you can just drop in the pigment wherever? Yeah. Because the paper is wet, it will kind of absorb it. Ooh. And it will stay like that. So <clears throat> just a tiny bit, not like a lot. So I did that here when the paper was wet, and that looks like I just have pigment on there, but I don't, it's soaked into the paper, isn't that cool? That's in there. What? Yeah, there's a little bit of red right there. So we're gonna leave that. Sorcery. <laughs> we're gonna leave that sitting in there and drying for a minute, and then we'll come back and do our takeaway technique. So while this is drying, just saving our time here that we have together, because I know that your time is precious, and if you're, you're doing art and you found a pocket of time to do it in, you win. Just finding the time to sit down and make it is so good. <laughs> Especially when, when, when we have busy schedules and stuff. Yes. And I hope that you're enjoying the time that you have. And I usually like to set an intention when we do our projects, but just take a deep breath while that's drying and think about our next step. Because we're here, we're making art together. And that is winning already, no matter what happens. No matter how this turns out, like you made time for yourself to make art. Good job, good job. <laughs> And I just want you to know that sometimes I sit down to make art, I don't have a good time. I get frustrated. I get in my head and I think, well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> and that's okay, that happens sometimes. I just, I just want you to know that. 
I saw a comment in the Facebook that was talking about that, like how do you shake the feeling of not feeling good enough or your art not being that good? Common feeling. Yeah, that is a common feeling. And I'm so glad that it was shared and people like t talked about it in there. That's what I love about this community mm -hmm. is that we can support each other and cheer each other on. I got Keenan here cheering us on. Yep. I get the same feeling about piano. Yeah. I have a hard time listening to uh, like real life people, not just recordings, but when I listen to other people that play piano really well, I just think, oh, I can't play like that. I'm not that good at what I love to do. But I love to play the piano the way I love to play piano. And it's always rewarding because I feel better when I'm done, regardless of if I played a real song or not. <laughs> Another thing that I love about Keenan is that he'll just break out in the song like he did in the beginning of this mm -hmm. video, yep. and he is not afraid. And I will be working, and all of a sudden, he'll be rocking around the office or whatever. And other people say this too, they can hear him just singing, just singing, <laughs> just going for it. I have zero confidence in that department, but I respect that he can do that. I mean, that's another thing. I love to sing. I don't think that I'm, I don't think that I'm good at it to where, like, you're taking it seriously? Yeah, that's why I think that's why if I take it too seriously, then I can't just let go and sing. And that's a good point because that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm not trying to take this so seriously, like this art in our journal is for us. So yeah. it's a good lesson. Good lesson for us, Keenan. Okay, so this is flipping up that way. I'm trying to think like, <laughs> if this is this blue, then this one's gonna be the orange. Okay, I'm just trying to make it like I did before, that's all. No, I get it. <clears throat> Consistency okay. is actually pretty difficult, so <laughs> way to take your time. Yeah, I'm like, you guys have fun, don't worry about it, but I'm gonna try to make this project exactly <laughs> like I did before the, so you can see same. how to do it. <laughs> it has to be perfect. <laughs> it's fine, it's just the nature of these tutorials, but I'm still having fun, just so you know. Okay, I'm just gonna use this other brush. That's really how you know that's a common thought too, though. What do you mean? Well, because you're trying to make it the same way you did before, and Another good quote is comparison is the thief of joy. Oh, yeah, I love that quote. I love that. It is. It really is. And we're here to have some joy. Exactly. And really, we're winning when we see the art that everyone gets to make and shares with us on the Facebook group. Yes, it's really my favorite part. I like to see what people think of as, as bad because usually it's not, and it's also full of amazing accidentals and that person makes it theirs like yeah your hand is in it then it's yours and it's yep. special and it's awesome so good okay so i got that one orange I'll do the other side pink or what color is this coral jesse mm -hmm. do you think you could move what you're painting up and to the left just a little bit yes I would love to do that. Thank then you. I can bring my palette over so you can see what I'm doing. Yes. I put a lot of pink right there, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with that pile of pink. I'll use it on something. Yeah, perfect. And then can you push what you're painting up as well? <laughs> like that? I'm going to paint this part next. Is that in the right spot? Nope. You want to rotate it? There you go. Want me to do that? Is that good? <laughs> yeah, that's good. What would I do without Keenan? You guys won't be able to see anything. So thankful. And and then and then watch your head. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad at making tutorials. That's okay. I'm having fun, that's you guys. Not true. <laughs> okay, so we got our pink. And that's nice, I'm liking that. And then we don't need to paint the middle necessarily because that part's gonna be the part that glues to our page. And I wanna do a little bit of collage on this one, but I still think I'm probably gonna put some blue on it just in case my paper doesn't cover the whole thing. And mm. because I'm already painting, so it might as well. Might as well. <clears throat> I only switch brushes because my other brush was dirty. You can use whatever brush, it's not necessary to worry about which brush you're using. Just so you know. I'm just gonna paint this whole thing blue even though I know I'm gonna cover it up with paper because I don't know where that paper is gonna land exactly. 
I just love this blue, it's so good. Okay, so a little bit more about our project, because I don't know if I fully explained it. We're making a time capsule. Did I say that? I don't know if I mm -hmm. said that. Yeah. Okay, and my thought was, to go along with the whole record and reflect um, idea, that this little time capsule could hold a thought nugget of whatever, like the big lesson that you learned in 2020 that is like, hey, all this crazy stuff happened, but I learned this about myself, or I really wanna remember this going forward because that was a really, really good thing that I learned. Like, I'm being really generic because I wanted it to be whatever you need it mm -hmm. to be, but I'm trying to inspire you to think about that. Does that yeah. make sense? No, it does make sense. And I just thought we could do that with like a little slip of paper, or you could even art journal a whole other card and decorate that and do however you want. It could be whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry, and then we'll bring back our other page over here. That paper, we don't need that now. And this is, it's pretty dry. So that's great, because now we're gonna do our takeaway technique with the squares up top. And so that means we need a paper towel that's damp. And I've taught this technique in some of our other projects. Um, damp paper towel, not sopping wet. So I'm gonna kind of squeeze the water a little bit so into my paper towel. And I'm gonna use just different edges to wipe away the pigment in. You know, the amount of water you need is similar to that of wiping a toddler's face clean. Oh, yes, perfect. It's a little better than mom's spit. Gross. <laughs> Seriously, the <laughs> grossest. I have memories of that, and I don't do that to my children if I can help it. Sorry, mom, if you're watching, really sorry. <laughs> but everybody feels like that, don't they? Uh, I don't remember my mom ever doing that. Well, either blocked it out or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or you were too young to remember. It's gotta be it. Okay, so, <clears throat> and you can, you don't have to like blot out all of them. You can kind of pick and choose a couple to do. <clears throat> and you might have to experiment a little bit with this, like, you know, with the amount of water you have on your paper towel. If you do a lot of water, it might seep under the stencil or whatever and it won't give you like a perfect um, negative shape. That's okay, because that could be like a cool texture anyway. So just have fun doing it, learn what, learn from making it, and however it turns out, it's gonna be fine. Yeah. We're just having a good time here. We're running out of paper towel spots. Might just being creative. You need more paper towels? I, I might. It would be helpful if I had a roll of paper towel over here. You I can have choose. one next to your chair, actually. Awesome. Thank you for seeing that. You're welcome. Art Leader, Hype Man, Paper Towel Finder, <laughs> all the things. That's, those are all on my resume. I actually. hope it is. I hope it is. Along with Amateur Belly Dancer. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is news to me, y'all. <laughs> I don't know about this. <laughs> I never know what he's going to say. <laughs> it's a wild card. All right. You're not serious, are you? I don't know. Oh, my gosh. You'll never know, Jesse. Okay. I guess I will never know. <laughs> this is weird, y'all. Okay. All right. I might have to go for the other piece of paper towel here in a minute. Oh, my finger slipped. And I got it slightly in a different spot. I'm okay with that. That makes it even more unique. Mm-hmm. It's true. Okay, let's get a little, oh, yes! I like it. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going with the, no, I'm not. I need that other paper towel. <laughs> but I gotta hold this Stencil. in the same spot. <laughs> I don't have to, I could've let it go. It'll be fine, but. I'm in it now, I'm, I'm, I'm committed. I'm a big fan of stencils. Stencils are fun. I saw a, on the internets, mm -hmm. I saw a giant stencil that someone uses to 
cover their sidewalk and use a power washer to spray designs into their sidewalk. Ooh, so like, it's like doing this with dirt on a sidewalk. Yep. That's cool. Which is also kind of gross because then you're leaving the other dirt on your sidewalk. But it's art, so that's but okay. But it's art, so it's really cool. If it's art, it's okay. Yeah. That's what I say every time I don't wash my face. It's art. <laughs> you know? I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how can you argue with that? <laughs> Can't argue with crazy. <laughs> That's oh my nice. gosh, I have so much fun doing this. This one, so my paper towel is like a little bit less like wet and it's working a little better. <clears throat> so oh. even though I've done this a couple times, it's like, oh yeah, that's right, that's what I did. Or what I thought I did last time is not working this time, that's all right. It's fine, this is not like a really important technique to get perfect because we're just, we're just doing cool stuff. Now, I chose to not do all the squares and just kind of pick a couple random ones. I'm liking that. Me it's too. Cool. It's a little different though. Kind of makes me think of Tetris <laughs> and also the Matrix. I was thinking they're kind of like chiclets, like that little square gum. Oh, yeah. I see that. I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> so we got that, and I can dry. Now we can come back to this. What we need is our time capsule paper. Which is right here. Now, I have done these videos in different order and I usually try to cut from the same page so I know that we used all the same cuts and papers. I think I might have cut this in one of the other things in one of the other journals and I'm not sure how I cut it. I think I cut it this way. Mm. Um, but I can't find that little scrap of paper because y'all know after you cut paper and you run around with it, it's like, where did that paper go? So. All my scraps of paper go that way. <laughs> I'm going to cut it this way this time. If you cut yours like this and it's a little skinny, that's fine. It's going to be fine. We're just trying to get our time capsule on there. However, your scrap of paper looks, it's all right. Because I'm pretty sure I said, like, let's tear it at the 14. But I don't remember, like, how I cut it. Hmm. But we do have more journal collage paper available these days, so there's oh, extra pages of this in there oh, too snap. if you want to keep using it. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm thinking I want this time capsule to be wide enough to fit on there, so I'm going to have to trim it a little bit right there. So I'm just gonna put, cause I kinda want this little corner to be peeking out anyway. So I'm just going to mark that right there. And it's gonna be perfect. So if you cut it the other way, it's still the same amount of paper. I don't know why I'm stressing about this, y'all. It's fine. Okay. <clears throat> Line this up and cut it. So I've been thinking about what I want my little slip of paper. Actually, I might use that as my slip of paper um, to say. And I've had a couple of different things come to mind. Do you have anything come to mind when you're thinking about like the one thought nugget you want to remember for this year? Well, I'm a big fan of nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Chocolate. Chocolate like, nuggets? Yeah, they have like a candy or something. Hmm. I'm only familiar with the chicken nuggets. The chicken variety. All right. Yes. Something I want to remember from this year. Yeah. Whether it's like developing a skill or... Yeah, like a like a life lesson or mm. advice to give yourself or like, hey, this is really hard, but I know this about myself now and I don't want to forget that. I think I would want to emphasize how flexible I've been able to become. Oh, that's so good. What a good word. Because I think if we weren't able to be flexible in s this year, Jeez. it would be much more difficult. And I'm sure people have had difficult times, but. That makes me think of that analogy where they talk about like a reed or a blade of grass that blows in the wind, you know, mm -hmm. whenever the wind blows. Yep. But if you're like rigid, then it's like gonna break if yep. it's really windy kind of thing. I get that. The flexible analogy. Okay, so I did that across and now I have these little sticky parts that I can <laughs> trim off so that my pocket is the right shape. So. I might not have needed to be that heavy handed with the glue knowing that I was gonna cut it off. So, 
you can learn from me by not doing that if you want. <laughs> it's all good. Whoop, got that tiny little, I love it when it does that little spiral thing when you cut it. Like a Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> yeah, it's so satisfying, I don't know. All right, okay. I'm gonna wipe the glue off my mat really fast. Sorry, it's really rattly. That's okay. Um, just use a baby wipe to clean that glue up. It's really nice. And these paper towels are on the floor. Luckily, we have a half roll. Yeah, we got plenty. I'm gonna put that out of the way so I don't bump, bump, bump it. Look how pretty this palette is. I just I love know. how that looks. Makes me think of a, uh, a color run, like a 5K color run. Yes, totally. Okay, this is almost dry. It's, gonna, it's dry enough for us to work with, I think. It's gonna be good. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna flip it. So this is how we're gonna glue it when it's closed, when we are ready to close it. Oh, so good. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, but I'm gonna make it flat for a second longer and put the glue on the back so I can put it on my page. So I put that glue away, getting them right back out. What am I doing? I just wanted to use all the colors because I hadn't used all the colors yet in all our projects and I was like, I gotta use that pink. <laughs> <laughs> I and like, I kind of love like it. I like that pink color. It's, it's nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Yes little accent color and it'll be fun to see what colors people gravitate to what their preferences are okay just spread that around like icing it's great mm -hmm. now I'm going to I'm gonna fold this in so I can kind of see where it lines up on my page feeling pretty good about that right there so I'm gonna stick it down And I'm just gonna make sure my hands are semi-clean. Or you can just use a paper towel, there we go. That's a good idea. <laughs> All this time I've been using my pinky and some other weird part of my hand, I could just got a clean paper towel. It's whatever. Who cares if I get paint in there? It's not even that big a deal. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna fold flap A in and then D over that. So I'm gonna put a little glue on the pink just a little right there and then I'm gonna fold C up whoop tricky see and if you go all the way up to here you don't have to worry about it going in there I just don't want to get it in mm -hmm. that area so it Get stuck to the, bo the yeah, bottom. Yeah, so I want my pocket to still work. And my pocket is working great. And there's no glue on that part, so we're good. Yay! Nice. Okay. Now, if your paper is warped and it's slightly damp because I'm trying to hurry up and do this for you, you could use something like this to weight it down while it dries. Hmm. It's totally, totally fine. Yes paste or whatever heavy thing you got around. Totally sandbag. <laughs> well, if you got a sandbag hanging around, I guess that <laughs> would also work. <laughs> French okay. style cut green beans. I just love this. Beautiful. You see that? I know my pocket's kind of popping up, but okay. So I'm gonna put that over there to keep drying for a minute. And I'm gonna use this little slip of paper that I had cut for my thought. And I think I want my thought be um be still and no oh that's a great thought but i really like flexible too um those are both those are that was a good idea B. I think you have to be able to in order to be flexible you kind of have to calm down <laughs> and you have to be still yeah and you have to think about what maybe like a bigger picture of what's going on so i don't know what that means but I think that you got to be still and you got to know that you're going to learn something from anything. 
That's so true. That's so good. For me, be still and know is that what he's saying. And like, just knowing that like I can create my calm no matter what storm is around me and I can know things and I can find value in myself um, in that peace. Yeah. And I can know that I'm enough. I can know that like I'm making a difference with my talents or whatever I'm trying to do. And um, that, that's a really good reminder and a lesson that I learned this year with all the crazy storms that were thrown at us. So I'm just gonna fold that and put it in my little time capsule for me to remember and discover later. Nice. And we did it. We did a time capsule for 2020. Good job, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I had so much fun making this and I have so much fun uh, making an art alongside of y'all in this community. And I'm so grateful that I get to spend time with you and the time that I know is precious for you to set a time to make set aside time to make art. So thanks for being here. Thanks for making this. And if you made it and you want to share it, you can share it in our Facebook group with these Let's Make Art journals or use the hashtag on Instagram, you know, wherever you're at, wherever you're hanging out. Show us what you made. Thanks so much. We'll see ya.